and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. We are live on Instagram right now, Dance FM UAE. Here with me is blogger Avantika Mohan. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for having me, Gemma. I'm really excited. Oh, it's awesome to have you here. So let's start with how you ended up in Dubai. You grew up in a small town in northern India, Derridan. Yes. And now you're here, so... It's it's really, like, taken me a a while to get here, and uh, I started... So yesterday we were calculating how long have I been working. So I've been working for 15 years. So I moved out of my house when I was like 16 or 17. I moved out of there because it's just basically a very beautiful town which doesn't give you employment. So I had to go to Delhi and then I got a chance to work here. And I'm exceptionally lucky because my life really changed. Is the way I am now. It's a lot to do with Dubai. So it's been 11 years that I've been here. And not just Dubai though, because you told me earlier you have travelled to 73 countries. So surely that has had a big impact on the content of your blog. Yes, absolutely. Because I love street fashion. So I'm literally like, you know, when you're walking and I'm literally like gazing at other women or men and just looking at them and noticing what are they wearing. Okay, so they've put these things together. So I always like get inspiration from street fashion. That's that's all I've got about that. My blog is also about like, you know, just experimenting different things. Well, just as you said, it's not just travel. Your blog features fashion, beauty, lifestyle and motherhood. That is a really broad range. So what is your targeted demographic then? So when I look at it, we know because Instagram gives you insights now. So it Mm -hmm. really does have 18 to 25 years old is the maximum number of my followers, but it does go up to like 50 or 60 as well. So it really varies. That's the ages? Yes, that's the ages. So literally every age group is following me. Uh, So I think because I... I've been doing it for some time, maybe two years, but then I was always like dressing up. So I have a back background story as well to why I started blogging or why I love fashion or why I love clothes. It's because when I was in Dehradun, my mother, she ran a boutique. OK, so we we were we come from a very humble background. So when we were in that house, we literally had that very small room. And my mother used to have her boutique set up from our own room. So there were like four family members and and a tailor sitting there Mm. doing things. So when I would come back from the school, I would help my mother to do things. So I literally have knowledge about things like, you know, like about fabrics, about um, embroidery, about stitching, about all of these things. So I can actually do all of these things as well. So I understand fabrics. So I didn't know how much it's embedded in me. It's only later when I like started like noticing people and I would say, oh, so you're wearing a cotton shirt and then, okay, so this is how it's stitched or this is the cut or these are the things that little details and because so it's growing up in that environment absolutely. really encouraged you to move into this industry. Absolutely. So I loved clothes because I would help her. And then I realized that I, I could dress up myself as well. So I imagine your mum is one of your followers then. <laughs> she is. I, I've made an account. <laughs> Are you wearing anything from your mum's boutique right now? Yes, the jacket is from ah, my mum's boutique. Yes. It's gorgeous. Thank oh, you I'll so put much. an order in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well then this has piqued my interest. Digging into the science, if you want to call it, behind Instagram engagement. Now you said your page actually receives comments and likes uh, almost 10% higher than most influencers. So why do you think that is? If I may put it, my husband's famous. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Well, and hey, that why is, uh, no, I, I think uh, it's a lot to do with how people connect with me because I'm a very basic person. Even if I dress up uh, well or even if I travel well, uh, in my heart, I'm a very positive, basic person. So I think people connect with me for that as well other than just... They can really relate to you. So there's always like something else to for somebody else. Uh, So we just started doing this. So what I'm doing is that I travel to different countries and then I take like 20 postcards. So I ask my followers to write to me whoever wants a postcard. So out of them, maybe 100. Actually, this last time, there were like 1,000 people who commented and 1,000 people, of course, I was not going to send 1,000 postcards because I didn't have. Yeah, that's a full-time job. I overwhelming. So, um, yes, but I send them postcards and really that is something that really connects us. So we are not just um, an Instagrammer and a follower. We really like connect for different things. So some people like my style, some people like 
a positive I am and some people like because I'm a working mother so it's a big deal in India because a lot of people just stop working after they have children so I've still continued working so I think that is Inspiring. Yeah, the fact that you cross a lot of subjects on your page, it keeps a lot of audiences interested. And you did, with you've got a huge stronghold of followers, over 100k on Instagram. So I'm not surprised to learn that you also write for the Times of India, a fashion piece. What other brands have you worked with? On, uh, for, uh, other than writing for Times of India? Just other opportunities since blogging. Oh, okay, so you know, like I, I do get brand endorsements. So, like, let's say I'm going to, my next thing is going to be with Nadella. Nadella is the breast pump. So now breast pump is very different from what you think, 18 to 25. They're not using breast pump. But then the reason I'm going to be doing this is because a lot of people do not know about it. And it has really been very helpful for me. So I would not endorse something which I've never used or never think that it's going to be useful for my audience. So I would not promote that. Uh, other, other than that, I'm doing L'Oreal face packs. So that is, again, 18 to 25 focus. Yes, it's gone from different like spectrums. Spe different spectrums. So it is, I also have to pick. So there are a lot of times that there are things that I don't think I will be able to endorse. Um, let's say fairness screens or something uh, about weight loss. Be I, because well, I'm, it's got to be something that you, you are passionate about. Yes, it's not going to be anything that I think is going to give a negative impact mm -hmm. or something that if people look up to me, I do not want to be associated with something that is not right morally for me. So I would not do that. No, but so definitely since becoming a new mum, it has changed the direction of your blog. Yes. And so now you're appealing to a whole different market of new mums and and it's great. You're trialing these products and then you're putting it forward and saying, well, this is how I found it. So again, this is how some of your uh, followers really relate to you. They just love how down to earth you are and, <sighs> and honest about the journey. Yes. I think so. <laughs> well, I would like to think so. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't have over a thousand people if they didn't agree <laughs> with what you're sharing. Thank you. Yes. Uh. No, thank you so much, Avantika Mohan, for joining me. You can check out our full Beats and Bloggers interview at dancefm.com as well as our Instagram live. Coming up, I've got Timberland and this is Sid, I Miss You.